A new day, a new project, and here I have a three-band equalizer. It came already soldiered with all the parts already on the PCB, and we got two NA5532 circuits. There are some things I have to do before anything else. First, I want to change capacitors here. As you can see, we have a rectifier bridge and have two capacitors, and then we have two linear power supplies i think they are 79 12 okay so the, this is 12 volts all we have to do is to apply here a transformer with a middle pin okay 220 or something and here we have zero and um, probably 15 oh it's too much 10 volts and 10 volts ac so let's try to have something else first these potentiometers should be linear because they are, except this one, which is uh, the input volume, these are the tone controls. How can we find if they are linear? Very simple. Just put it in the middle position and we should have equal uh, numbers from the middle pin to the left or right. Okay, we are on 20 kilos. Let's see. Let's take this one, it's on middle, yeah, approximately here, okay. So let's get the middle point, 1972, 1749, this is very good. The next uh, check, you see, this is a, a 5532 schematic and so far here at the input, we have two transistors in opposite uh, complementary let's call it that's an npn and a pnp you know obviously checking the input if we apply in diode mode our testers between pin 2 and 3 we should have a very clear diode indication in both ways so i'm checking this because i have to know if these guys are original or fakes but i'm sure 100 percent these guys are fakes so we have pin one two and three all right so this two should give me some diode numbers and nothing as you can see so these guys are fakes well that doesn't affect the functionality i'm pretty sure it will work okay so let's start with the power supply i'm gonna use this uh, transformer uh, this one it's recovered from some other projects some older projects of mine it's a double coil on the secondary let's check for the the voltages i think white it's the oh yeah white it's the middle common and those two greens are the other two coils and here we have, okay, AC, like 7.66 volts only. So obviously this one is working with 12 volts and we got power. <laughs> Beautiful. So the LED is on. Let's check for the voltages. 9 volts and 8.28. Well, kind of, I was expecting more. 975 981 no i can't use this one for a power supply it's not enough voltage i need another transformer now let's have this running uh, it's differential already but i'll pass this through the rectifier bridge anyway this power supply of mine it's delivering 18 volts maximum let's go to 15 and let's check the input 15 volts perfect let's check the voltages after the voltage regulator that's a fixed voltage regulator by the way so we should have oh here 12 1203 okay we got power that means the circuit is ready to run everything on zero zero and zero now let me have a shielded cable for the output when uh, you are working with, with audio always use shielded cable 
always. It's a need. It's a must. Okay, so all the cables are on. Here I have the output. And uh, something else I wanna I wanna try or find. In fact, is to see if these metal things, you know, the metal parts of the potentiometers are connected to the ground because that can be a hum problem a biz uh, sound all right so that should be to the ground let's see <laughs> i was sure about that there is no ground connection to the metal parts of the potentiometers this is really important so what can we do about i can use a piece of wire and uh, Put them together to a ground here on the board, like this. And I think that's the best ground connection ever, a D input. And there we go, that's absolutely fine. Okay, now let's check for ground, of course. This should be ground also. And the middle pin here. So be careful with that. Here I have my uh, Sony Vegas recording the audio. And uh, I have to check for the inputs. It will be channel 6. Okay, channel 5 and channel 6 on my Sapphire Pro 40 almost no uh, okay let me have it 920 i can have a very clear idea about the noise so all we have to do now is to power on the device volumes number on number five let me check the mixer here five and six let's put this up to have control output and Fire. Ba -bam. Now we Oops. should apply a signal. And I'm going to use my phone to deliver that. Volume is down. Volume up high. Oh, yes. I can hear my monitors running, but not enough gain. Let's go to seven, maybe eight. Let's have all the control. Okay, it's working. Okay, so we are on meter now. I mean, tone control are middle position. This is travel, this is alcohol or mediums, this is bus. Okay, so let's have some high frequencies. Equalizer. 
some other kind of another kind of music a little bit uh, clubby so everything at zero let's have the bass Very nice contour. Very nice contour for for the medium from alto. It gives body. But the bass is not so deep. I thought uh, I I thought it will be boomier. Okay, let me try some some other kind of music, you know, like this. Too much pain. I'm sorry. We can hear the bass very clear, and you can see, you can see also over there. Now it's on. Look at the amplitude that we see. Yeah, yeah, it's working. So that's it for today, people. The schematic is working. The PCB it's okay. Everything is fine, even with. Uh, this kind of uh, circuits, you know, let's call it fake circuits. These are not even warm, <laughs> okay, because it's not taking a few milliamps probably. Um, don't forget about grounding the potentiometers. I'm gonna inject some wave forms and we'll see how the things are running. And also, I'm gonna check the noise, the self noise of this. Uh, uh, circuits. Okay, 
I hope it's useful. Please like, please subscribe and have some fun. See you. Bye bye.